lady has 828 personal recruits in her career, over a quarter of a million distributors on her team, over 450,000 customers. She's going to teach you how to gain attention and to start conversations now. Please welcome to the Recruiting Challenge, Ms. Emily Vavra. Emily, hit it. Hey, hey everyone. I am so excited to be here with you. Let's roll. If you're ready, say I'm ready in the comments. If you want to learn right now how to get your first sign up, how to get your 20th sign up, how to get out of a slump, let's go. Like Eric said, I've been in this industry for a decade. I started when I was 23 years old and I at the time had about 900 Facebook friends and they were all my high school friends or coworkers. So I had to really learn how to create engagement on social media, how to talk to people, right? All the skills that I'm going to teach you here today. But I will tell you, when it comes to recruiting, there is, yes, a tremendous amount of skill, but we got to back up the train for a hot second. And I got to teach you that you got to manage your energy. And you got to take control of your energy when you go into conversations with other people, when you start reaching out to people, when you start recruiting, when you're out there walking your dog, when you're doing life, when you're at the restaurant, you have to take control of your energy. You are energy, okay? And so the very first thing before I do anything, okay, before I go to recruit, work my list, do my IPAs, income producing activities, okay, I play music, I jump up and down. And if we had more time, I would have had a whole session with you of us just raging, okay? Because what that does is it puts you in an amazing state because a lot of you are working full-time jobs. You have a baby on your hip, you know, you have, you have kids homeschooling in the corner, right? Your life looks crazy at times. Does it? If it does say it does, right? Let's just all admit that. And so when we go to start recruiting and serving and connecting, we got to get our energy right. Okay. And your frequent, your frequency will dictate whether or not you enroll someone in the next seven days or 20 people or whatever your goal is. So check your frequency. That's what I do constantly. Okay. How you show up in life, it, it matters the success you have. So if you go to recruit someone and you're like complaining about what's going on in your life or your energy is low, people can feel that. People can feel that. Okay. So what I do and what I did in the beginning, I did my affirmations and I still do this. I am a recruiting machine. So say that I am a recruiting machine. Okay. Everything in my life is coming to me right now. I'm constantly speaking this out. I'm constantly speaking this out. I'm the boss. I'm going to bless someone today. And if you believe it, you'll get it. Okay. God will meet you at your level of expectation every single time. So what do you expect? Because in a minute here, I'm going to give you, you know, something to do on social media. I'm going to get you in the game. If you want to get in the game, comment below. I want to get in the game because I'm going to tell you how to do that in just a minute. But you have to believe in what you're doing. You have to, you know, be energetic about it. Maybe not screaming, but you got to feel it inside of you that you truly have something that can bless someone else's life. Okay. And what I hope you get from these next seven days is you start to have more and more and more conversations than you've ever had in your life. Because when I talk to people out there trying to do network marketing, most of the time I have found that they just don't have a large enough sample size. You're talking to the same five, 10 people over and over again. And what we're going to help you do in these next seven days is increase that, increase the amount of conversations you have. So that way you can learn how to properly connect with someone, build a relationship and get them to take a look at your product or service. Okay. And when you start to increase your sample size, you know, you're going to, you're going to find that this is truly a numbers game. People are not numbers, but it is a numbers game and it's going to allow you to actually get a win. People with lots of exposures win. Okay. That, that's just how this goes. People with large exposures win. So we need to get more conversations going. And then what, you, what you'll find is you start having more meetings because this whole objective is not to have you sit on social media all day. The whole objective is to get you doing meetings this week. And what you'll find, you do eight meetings, 12 meetings, 15 meetings, and everything you know from your head starts to go to your heart and you realize the gift we have here in network marketing that people all around the world are praying for right now more than ever. Before we dive in, I just wanna share this with you. You cannot care what other people think. 
I talk to people every single day that want this so bad. You have huge goals, huge dreams. But when it comes to prospecting, recruiting, you're so afraid to send that message because you make it all about yourself. Stop giving people the power to emotionally affect you. You get sad because someone doesn't write you back. Okay, you feel like a failure. Guys, the only approval I need is from myself and my own personal integrity and God's. That is it. Okay, and you, I want you to have that mindset when you're recruiting. Jefferson said it, this may or may not be for everybody and that is a-okay. But if you're addicted to other people's approval, you will never be a seven figure earner and you will never make the impact that you're born to make. If you're emotionally dependent on other people's approval, that is a limiting belief. And we gotta change that. So I'm gonna get you in the game right now. We're gonna take some daily massive action. We're gonna take some massive action right now. So what I want you to do, think about your business. Okay, maybe you sell a hair product, makeup, maybe you sell a service. Okay, you help people learn about uh, financial literacy. Okay, maybe you sell a nutrition product, right? There's all these great things we do. Okay, I want you to think about something you're excited about around your company, around your business. Okay, let me throw ideas at you. You could have got paid this week. Who got paid this week in, in their network marketing business? Okay, maybe your side hustle is, is paying your mortgage. Maybe you helped someone pay their mortgage. Maybe you helped two people gain more mental clarity. Maybe you helped someone on your team, you know, finally get out of a rut in their life. Maybe you had a transformation on your product. Okay. Maybe you have more confidence now because you you've released 10 pounds, right? I'm giving you all sorts of ideas that you could be excited about. Maybe you finally found a community that is helping you raise your game in your life. So what I want you to do now, as we think of this, I wanna see this in the comment. What is something positive that has happened in your life because you've joined your network marketing company? Think about it specific. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on Facebook right now, okay? And we're going to post it. And I don't want a novel. I'm sorry. Nobody cares. Okay. I want in this little box, you know how on, on, on Facebook, you can do the little box text. I want a couple sentences. That's it. Okay. Make it whatever cute color you want. And we're going to get some traction. Okay. I have hope now I'm reading some of these beautiful comments. Keep them coming. Okay. I want to see more specific. If it's something around your product, okay? Um, and, and if you really want to attract business, I recommend having it be more of a business post. You can do the same thing on Instagram, Instagram, LinkedIn, okay? And so what this does, okay, we got a 40 pound weight loss, you know, you've grown personally, you know, new leadership skills, you know, I, maybe you, maybe you've learned more in your, in, in this business than you did from, you know, your college degree, how oh, that's a bold statement. Okay. So whatever it is, I want you to post something. And some of you, this is kind of difficult for you because you never brag about yourself and you feel like this is a little bit like, oh man, I'm not sure. But a lot of you are in a secret business as well. And nobody knows that you have something that could change their life. So I want you to post this, gain traction. And if you're in each other's companies, go like, love, comment, support each other, okay? And now we take it a step further. After we do this post, anybody who likes it, loves it, okay? Anybody who comments on it, we're sliding into the DMs. We're sending them a private message. And we're saying, hey, Jefferson, thank you so much for your comment on my post. It means the world to me. How is everything going? You start a conversation with them. You don't, okay, I know Jefferson just talked about don't, what you don't do, you don't send them a mass message, including all your links and your product videos and inviting them to a webinar and Zoom. You don't do that. At, that's amateur hour. If you want to be a professional, okay, you build the relationship. How are you? Okay, and you start that conversation. And for every single person watching this, every single connection you have with a human is going to look different because some people, you know, you work out with them, you see them all the time. Some people are complete strangers. So what I want you to do with every single person you connect to, 
Okay. Whether you're doing reach outs on Instagram, Facebook, doesn't matter. I want you to go to their Facebook page and look at their life. What is going on? Because some people, when they have, you know, when we're recruiting, I have found that your brain is so transactional. And as much as I love that, you guys, if you want to connect to somebody, you have to know who the heck you're talking to. So go to their page and look at them. Okay. Look at who they are. You know, I might go to someone on Instagram and, you know, I'll, I'll use my friend April as an example before she was on the team. Okay. You know, she's, she's positive. I can tell she posts positive quotes. Can't really tell. I don't think she, she doesn't do a business. She's just a positive woman. She very much is passionate about her three girls. You can tell she's been married a long time and her and her husband's relationship is high value to her. She loves working out. You can just see all this. Okay. So when I would reach out to her, like Eric said, like Jefferson said, I would pay a compliment. Okay. And so this might be kind of a cold reach out. Let's say I have no idea who she is other than, you know, Facebook or Instagram stalking, which we all do. Okay. I would say, you know, something like this. Hey, April. Hi, this is Emily. You may you know, not know who I am, but I couldn't help but come across your page. You seem so positive. You have so much life. I love your beautiful girls. You know, I know this is kind of forward, but as I was looking at your page, I feel you would be exceptionally good at what I do. Would you be open to connecting for 10 minutes? That's it. That's a stranger. Okay. That's a stranger approach. Okay. So that's, that's a great way to do a reach out compliment. It may or may not be for you. If I would you inviting them, that's a cold approach. Now I'm, I'm, I'm throwing examples. If you like examples, let me know. Cause I'm throwing examples. I'm going to give you an example of a woman that I work out with on Sundays. Okay. Her husband is extremely wealthy. I live here in Southern California. You know, it's entertainment friends that I hang out with at times. And she doesn't have anything going on in her life. Her husband crushes it. And I can tell, okay, when I see her, she is vibrant, she's beautiful, but she seems a little bored. Okay. So I, her name's Julie. Okay. So if I'm going to do a reach out now to Julie, I might say something like, Hey, Julie, it was great to see you in Malibu a couple of weeks ago. I just want to say, I love, you know, seeing you and connecting with you and you know, I've never, ever shared with you what I do for a living, but I couldn't help but think you would be very good at it. Would you be open to going to coffee sometime soon so I can share more? That's it. I didn't spam her with, we have these products and this many herbs and blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? I didn't go into vivid detail. I, I literally connected. And this is how I get so many meetings. And this is how, you know, I get people to actually take a look at what we do because I set it up correctly. Okay. If that's, if that's making sense, let me know if that's making sense. Okay. And then, you know, once I get the dialogue going, of course, I send a video. Of course, I use tools. Of course, I, that's how I duplicate, but initially I love to connect. And what I recommend doing is sending, if you're doing this on social or text or whatever, send a voice message. And this is why it's so wildly important to get in the right state before you do. Send a message, let them hear your voice, okay? And, and that conviction in your voice. And just ask them simply, would you be open? Would you come to coffee, right? I want you guys to think about right now, you know, who do you know that's lost a job? Who do you know, you know, in the personal training industry, the, the, you know, my gym is still not open in Southern California. It's crazy. I have so many friends whose paychecks have been cut in half. We, as a profession, we got to go out there and talk to these people. Hey, I heard what happened with your husband, Jeff. I hope everything is okay. I would be honored if you guys would just be open and sit with me for a few minutes. I've helped other people like you before. Connect to people, figure out what's going on in their life. Before you message someone, 
see what is it? Did they just have a baby? Did they just get married? Did they just move? Social media tells a lot of the surface level stuff, but as soon as we get in the conversations, that's where the deep dive is. And it's in those conversations when you set up the meeting, okay, and, and really quickly, you know, as we get these combos going, if you did your post and you have conversations going, we got to set up the meeting, okay? If you don't set up the meeting, there, it's just, it's flat, okay? So I want you to, to set it up. Hey, I would, and, and here's a tip, because some people love to just play on social media all day, okay? So I would say, hey, I would love to chat with you more about this. However, I feel it's best just to set up a call. I have four o'clock available or eight o'clock, which works for you get them on the phone, get them on Zoom. If you're new, okay, maybe you have a, a Zoom opportunity presentation going on, drive it to the tool, drive it. Hey, we have a private meeting going on tonight. I have two spots available. I would love for you to take a look and then afterwards we can connect, okay? So there's other ways you can do it. All my new people, they drive to my tool. They drive, they drive, and then we do a three-way call, okay? In those meetings though, and when we go to sign up, when we go to talk to people, the first 15 minutes for me, and this is what I do, and I've been making seven figures for a long time, I first connect with them. And this is an art that I don't know where people are losing it, but you got to look at someone in the eyes and say, what's going on in your life? What are you doing for work? Do you love what you do? How do you feel? You know, maybe you offer a, a service that can alleviate some financial stress for people, right? How do you feel? How does that make you feel? How long has it been like that? And just ask people questions. And then one of the best tips I can give you, if you want to hear one of the best tips, comment below, I want to hear it, because you better be listening. Better be listening, okay? Look them dead in the eyes. Maybe your presentation isn't going that well and you feel like they're not going to sign up. Maybe you're, feel, you're feeling like, I don't know, are they even, do they like this? Ask them, if you continue doing, Brian, what you're currently doing, where will you be in five years? And just take a sip of water. Just let them, where will you be? And that, my friends, is a kick in the pants for people because most people don't ever have somebody look into their soul and say, hey, are you living life on purpose? Are you doing all you can for your family? They don't, they don't get those conversations. You have to be the one to bring it. You've got to be the one to ask. And that's how you get people to take a look at your compensation plan that's how you get people to be committed to a five-year journey minimum with your company. That's how you get people locked in and then uncovering all the reasons why they could do this. And if somebody's not going to do it, it's okay. But don't walk away from a situation without extending your hand, asking if you can keep them up to date with how it's going for you still cheering them on in their life. Just because they say no doesn't mean we got to X them out. Okay. I'm signing up someone this week I talked to 10 years ago. If I would have been a total you know what to her, do you think she would have come back 10 years later? No. You love people. That's what we're called to do in this world. But if someone says no, okay, what I want you to do is say, it's okay if it's not for you. But I am looking, I'm looking for somebody who, who has a burning desire to create change in their life. I'm looking, if you know anybody who has leadership skills, they're a winner, has a burning desire, can you please send them to me? Can you do the intro? In fact, can you do it right now? They may say, yeah, I'm actually my sister's super positive. She's Patty positive. Okay, great. Link me up with Patty Positive, you know? And that, you guys, that's how you build that list. And that's how you build that pool. And that's how you build it and build it and build it. And it's only a matter of time. 
but don't be the lazy man or the lazy girl that just spam suicides everybody, please connect. Why do you, why did you think of this person? Why connect to them and get it going. And I'll leave you with this. Remember that you are in charge of your future. You're in charge of your state every single day. It's nobody else's fault for your inaction. It's nobody else's fault. You got to take charge. You got to literally go to work on your mindset, your heart every single day so you can show up and be the leader that I know that you are. So thank you so much. I love you guys. Do your posts and hopefully you get some traction. Mwah.